Hi, I'm Stephen Feuerstein, and I write practically perfect PLSQL. Greetings and welcome to the PLSQL channel, a series of video trainings on the Oracle PLSQL language. My name is Stephen Feuerstein, and I'm a PLSQL developer just like you. This lesson is part of my series on input-output, I.O., and Oracle PLSQL, and the focus of this lesson is sending mail with the util mail package. But I'd like to talk here about sending mail from a PLSQL program. You can actually use a number of different packages from PLSQL to do this. util smtp, util tcp, util mail. And what I'm going to focus on in this talk is util mail because it makes it so much easier to send email from within PLSQL. It hides a lot of the underlying complexities that you'll encounter with util smtp or tcp, which are lower level entities for distributed communication. So first of all, util mail is not installed by default due to possible security exposures, the DBA has to explicitly go to the trouble of installing util mail and making it available. And the DBA must configure the SMTP out server initialization parameter. If you haven't installed util mail yet, or the DBA has not, the, these files contain the information that will install the util mail package specification and body. And here's an example of setting the SMTP out server parameter in one's session. So these steps will be necessary before you can do anything in terms of sending mail from within PLSQL. Once you've got things configured, then it's time to take advantage of util mail. And just before I show you a couple of examples of using it, let's take a look at comparing the techniques of using util mail, SMTP, and TCP. Let's go over to my demo directory, which will give you access to the same files that in your demo zip. These examples are taken from the OR FAQ site. Here's an example of using util SMTP to send an email. And you can see that you have to set things up with multiple commands to the util SMTP package. Open your connection, set up the hello, the receipt, the mail, etc. Here's util TCP. Again, lots of different operations that you have to go through. And here's util mail. Just send your email. So the bottom line, and I wanted to demonstrate here, is that this is a much simpler approach. And unless you find a reason not to use util mail, that would be your preferred mechanism. So basically, there are two different combinations of programs you can run. One is the send procedure to send an individual email. So util mail send, you specify the sender, the recipients. You can specify a copy, background copy, the subject of your email and the message. So this is a version of sending an email without an attachment. And you'll find in this file exactly the same thing. And then you can also send an attachment either as a var car 2 or a raw. So basically it's the same interface for specifying the sender, copy, subject, etc. But then you can also specify your attachment. So the contents of the attachment, whether you want to attach it in line to the message or external, and if external, what's the name of the file that will hold the attachment after the mail is received. So again, it's a very high level interface that takes care of a lot of the underlying details, most likely utilizing util SMTP to get its job done. But you as a developer do not have to worry about that. Notice that you cannot receive emails, you can only send them from inside your PLSQL programs. And that's about it. So in conclusion, Oracle does offer several approaches to take, sending an email from within a PLSQL block. Util mail is the simplest, the most high level. Also, if you happen to be working within the Apex environment, you might also consider using the Apex mail package, which is another high level interface to take care of sending mail, in this case, out from within an Apex environment. So you've got a number of choices. It's much easier than it ever used to be. And it shouldn't be that hard for you now to configure your Oracle applications so that you can communicate with the outside world via email from your PLSQL code.